So this is a prototype of a dust uh, chip tray for my Axiom AR8. You got tired of standing around in dust all the time. So hopefully this will contain most of it. As this is a prototype, there's quite a few mistakes in it. This is the first one. I didn't order enough material to cover up the corners with a butt joint. So we'll have to put some PVC angles on there to cover that up. Second mistake was on the side rail. We'd hoped to have this rail inside on this side but I didn't leave enough room between the gantry, so we had to mount it on the outside and reconfigure the connecting point here. But it's working out okay. The whole idea was I didn't want anything permanently attached. I wanted it high enough that it could catch the dust coming off the mill, and also that I could take any section off that I needed to uh, to get it out of the way if I didn't need it there or if we had a part that it was too long to fit inside the enclosure. So I'm going to hand this off to my wife now and show you how the sides come off. Okay, the thinking was that this is where I am most of the time, so if there's going to be a side that's going to come off first, it should be this one. They're just held down with magnets on the bottom, and then they just pop off. Trick. And same thing with the last panel. And then I can also remove these posts if they're in my way or a press fit into there. So I'll take the camera back. This was the way we came up. Again, we machined the material to fit around the base of the machine. Brought this piece up first, clamped it to the bottom of the machine, and we machined this part over here to go around the rubber isolation mount that's here, slid it in, brought that up low. That's held with a series of clamps around the inside of the machine. I also 3D printed off some hardware, like this bracket here, this corner post, this part, and a few others to, uh, to facilitate mounting it. Well, if we go underneath, I don't know if there'll be enough light here for you to see, but you can see the clamps in place there. Those are nothing but uh, hangers. Uh, got from Home Depot to clamp everything together. I'm not too worried about this gap in here, in this space. The dust will fall down, but basically it was just to keep it all kind of contained in one area. So, here you can see the refrigerator, or the cabinet magnets here. That also hit then the striker plate that's on the inside of the sides. There's three on the long side, two on the short. This is another mistake. When I cut these holes out for the cables, for the controls, I just assumed it was symmetrical and it was off the center of the table. Never looked at it. Of course, they're offset. So when we get to the final design, we'll make that correction. So there you have it. A dust slash chip tray for the Axiom AR8.